All right, everyone, we got so much good shit today. It's like, I mean, you know, the stories are writing themselves at this point. It, like Biden the other day, uh, basically ignoring questions that were fielded to him. He was asked basically what he would do to, you know, improve the lives of Iowans. And he said he's not even going to get into it. Like, oh, why should Iowans change? We've got like two point something percent unemployment. The economy's fine. Well, that wasn't Trump. That was the Obama economy. And I'm not going to elaborate further, basically. It's like, I, I even, despite how juicy that is, I've got so many other things to talk about. I literally have to bump Biden at this point. I love it. I think the political cycle right now is great. And this time of year tends to be like really political. I think as things get cooler, what happens is that people, they go indoors, they don't want to be outside, especially you know, football and stuff like that. But for the most part, you know, they start having like, you know, discussions about shit. And then they get drunk and start rambling about politics. And then you have, you know, all sorts of good shit. We finally got to do it. Unfortunately, against my better judgment, I have to actually address Greta Thunberg because I had spent months and months ignoring her existence. Everyone else is like, uh, she's so great or she's su such an asshole or whatever. And, and I'm sitting back and thinking, there is nothing particularly unique about this individual until now, of course. Now, all lights on Greta Thunberg giving a speech at the UNIS climate panel. I will say this. First, let me, let me praise uh, this individual. Despite the fact that she's not even an adult yet, she's fairly well-spoken, and she's definitely dedicated. Anyone who's willing to sail across the Atlantic and shit in a bucket the whole time, okay, can we at least give her credit where credit is due? She has dedication. That being said, the cause she's dedicated to is laughable. The idea that, pr that repackaging the same arguments and tropes that have already been said a million times to the public, to politicians, everywhere else that have been rambled and rammed into people's heads, the idea that it being said by someone who happens to be, I guess she has Asperger's or something, um, an, an Asperger's 16-year-old, the, the idea that that's going to change anything I think is hilarious. This is just a token. What this is, this is one of those feel-good, hippy trippy things like you get when you're a freshman and you're in orientation and you go to your college campus and they constantly give you like some bracelet to remind you not to sexually assault people or something and ultimately the grime of humanity is there but there's an ivory tower facade over it things look squeaky clean on the outside all oh, the grass is so nice so the pathways are intricately trimmed and here's our elaborate ornate garden and here's the towering library with all of its leather bound volumes and everything's very astute and solemn but really people are going back to their dorms they're getting hammered every fucking weekend that's what's really happening and they're smoking weed and fucking around and Skateboarding, skipping class to go skateboarding and shit, dude. Because, because that's what they do. It's the same fucking shit here. <clears throat> here you have a situation, essentially, where a bunch of globalistic bullshitters and a bunch of corporations are using people like Greta Thunberg to make their arguments for them. She doesn't even realize, like, uh, when does she call out China? China, the biggest polluter in the planet. Oh, that's not a problem. No, the West needs to decline its quality of life. Let me tell you something. Let, let, let me make something entirely clear here. Let's say you believe climate change is man-made, reversible, which I think is laughable, a threat. Let's say that it is truly the greatest problem of our time. 100, 200 years from now, we're basically wiped out as a species if we don't do something drastic. Okay, how is your not-in-my-backyard fucking response by getting heavy industry out of the West and living in hobbit houses here going to do anything about China. Your consumerism, the coat that you wear, was built by industry. The shoes that you wear, the bucket you shat in on your opportunistic little solar vessel, the panels were probably made in India. What are you talking about, dude? What the fuck is that going to change? If you believe in man-made climate change, you believe that around the middle of the 19th century, with a population in this world considerably lower, and virtually no actual heavy industry at the time, just a very small amount of it, a few urban centers just in parts of Western Europe and the US, you believe that that amount of industry is capable of slowly causing irreversible climate change. You're talking about a situation in which you have, you have the following options if you really want to take care of climate change. Reduce the world population by about 95%, uh, and, and what industry remains would have to be exceptionally more efficient than it is now. You wouldn't be able to nimby it off to China or something. Or you have to just go full primitivism. The problem is with the current world population, even if you were to regress to the 1700s, you wouldn't be able to feed everyone. You'd have to, you'd have to actually deforest more because it would require more land to feed everyone. 
Chemical fertilizer has its benefits, I guess, if you're interested in keeping up a massive surplus population. You people want to beat around the bush and talk about a carbon tax, plant a garden, let China handle the industry because somehow that makes the pollution go away. Fuck you! That's not going to work. Why don't you talk about the real solution? The real solution is killing off 95% of humanity. The real solution is banning all industry worldwide and nuking any country that resists. That's what you're really talking about. Reverting back to an agrarian city-state model, the electricity that would be there would be self-sustaining solar, extremely low level, and it would basically be, hey, we can run uh, uh, the basic medical apparatuses and people can have a couple of light bulbs and a super, super efficient smartphone, and that's basically all we can have. That's the kind of world you want to live in. Unless you manage to find a way to massively up the efficiency of solar or some considerable green energy. And I mean, we have hydro hydroelectric. Fuck that. You're not going to be allowed to. No, you know how you solve climate change? If these people are right, you let several of the continents in the world go fallow. Kill everyone on those continents. Pick them at random. Take the world population. Sterilize 99% of people. Let the population collapse. Take the survivors. Put them in one continent. Tell them to stay there. And then a thousand years from now, some rebel group will escape your crazy cyberpunk dystopia and start some sort of primitivistic tribe out in the Amazon somewhere and come back and overthrow you with a bioweapon. It's just like fucking sci-fi. So Greta Thunberg <clears throat> herself is little more than a pawn. She's just echoing what's been put in her head, but she's not even thinking beyond that. You, you've been told by the UN and, and I don't know, the Department of uh, Environmentalism in Sweden or whatever, you've been told that if you do a few little things here and there and you fiddle around and do lovey-dovey, love-bead meditation bullshit, that the world will be saved. That's not going to save enough. Carbon tax won't do anything. The industry will move. This is one world, okay? One globe. The atmosphere is, inter is intermixing all of the time. If a factory is here in the U.S. or there in Sweden or wherever, and then the, or it's in China, it's making the same pollution, arguably more if it's in China. Then you've got then then you've got slave labor and probably no scrubber in the tower, so it's actually worse. But let's say it's equivalent. Does it matter where you put it? If it's one world, if climate change is going to turn the world into Tatooine, it doesn't matter. So stop shitting around. If you're really that concerned about it, looking daggers at Trump because he's an evil orange man, isn't going to work. Why don't you go to China and try that with Jinping? Why don't you stare daggers at Xi over there? Or ta oh, go talk to uh, Nehendra Modi. Go talk to Kim Jong-un. When he fires off those missiles, how many emissions are there? Why don't you go pick it along the DMZ? Hold up a great big ass sign saying, please stop firing missiles, you're killing the dolphins. Why don't you do that? It'll, it'll solve as many problems. It's not going to do anything. The fact is that climate change probably is a threat. And yeah, man almost certainly contributes to it because industry is releasing large amounts of emissions. Not just CO2, by the way. Methane is a bigger thing. Ironically, the whole cow farts thing in the Green New Deal made more sense as long as... If a person with a post-third grade education in English had written the Green New Deal's rough draft, it actually would have been pretty sensible. You learn that in basic ecology. Yeah, it's considerably greater greenhouse gas. Anyway, I choose to believe that the Earth has systems to compensate. Look, we've had periods in history that have had much higher CO2. We've had periods in history with much higher overall biomass on the surface of the planet, megafauna, megaflora, and so forth. We've dealt with this. We've had ice ages and shit. We're probably going to have another one at some point. Don't worry, humans aren't going to destroy the world. We're just going to destroy ourselves. Well, then who fucking cares, dude? Martin, going across the Atlantic shitting in a bucket that was made in China out of petrochemicals is not going to save the world. I'm sorry, but you've completely failed. It's very funny, the same people that'll call her stunning and brave, by the way, they want to deplatform somebody like Soph. Oh my god, there's some wrong think there. So if someone's truly anti-establishmentarian, if they're saying something that's actually genuinely different from the status quo boring mainstream, we can't have that, that's not brave, that's evil and terrible and wrong. Oh, but God bless that Greta Thunberg. She's telling us what the UN climate panels told us anyway. She's saying the same thing. How is it even novel? She's not even making it up herself. No, I want to see Greta Thunberg. You, you want my applause, Greta? You come out and say, hey, I've got an idea. Sterilize 99% of humanity. That'll solve the problem. No more cleanse. No more man-made climate change. No more man-made anything. Reverse to the city-state model. Fuck the nation-state. We're going to live like Troy. We're going to have little walled cities with solar panels on every rooftop and every side surface, and we'll use that to power our... We'll have basic heating and cooling and refrigeration and, and like, basic medical apparatuses. 
and you'll have super thin, uh, super efficient smartphones that'll be made by robots in the one uh, allowable factory, and everything else will be fallow. There'll be some crop areas around our city-states, and then everything outside of that is wilderness. The only way to get from place to place will have solar-powered gyrocopters that'll take people from place to place and cost a premium. That'd be a pretty cool world, by the way. Hey, I'd go out in the forest and not see another human being for 20 years. Sounds good to me. Problem being, of course, then some criminals escape and they go start a colony out in the middle of the woods. Who's going to field the military required to uh, go and take care of them? They'll develop their own industrial society. Pretty soon they'll have better technology. They'll just, uh, they'll just rip your city-state apart. It's a very interesting idea, very interesting. But yeah, I want to see Greta propose that. I want to see Greta propose mass sterilization or, or execution. You know, some of these people don't really seem to care about human life. Um, you know, I have a stick up my ass about humanity too, but I'd rather go the, the less violent route. And that's assuming that climate change is an issue. Look, it's kind of harder to convince me, I guess, because I look around, it's autumn right now. There's like trees everywhere and they're getting ready for winter. It's probably going to be five feet of snow on the ground. Convincing me about climate change, yeah, might be a little bit more difficult than if someone is in sub-Saharan Africa or if someone's in, like, the, the jungles of Vietnam or something, some place where it's warm. You know, Florida. You know, by the way, I mean, when you say, whoa, Florida will be underwater. Okay, a lot of Americans don't care, dude. No offense to any Floridians, but it's your government's fault. Fucking blame them. That's about all. Peace out.